in blockchain world with our very own Tom Palmer. How are you, man? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm much less stressed now that I've completed my speech. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, going off of your speech, could you tell me a bit about it? Like, what, you, what, what are the main things that you talked about? Yeah, so I didn't want to dive into too much detail because I feel like that would drag on a little bit during the speech. But the main takeaways is that Helicon NFT is a gaming NFT company, a decentralized finance platform. We want to put the power back into the gamers' hands through giving them ownership and control of their digital assets. We feel like it's only fair because they're spending money on the game. The gaming developer earns a lot of money from that. I think it's about time they should probably give back. So that is what we're doing. We're aggregating game developers onto our platform uh, in order to create play to earn games specifically on the blockchain with NFT uh, involved as well. But we're also creating our own games and our own IPs in the future. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to show you guys more details about all of that. Unfortunately, we're not there just yet, but we will be drip feeding everyone, especially through our Discord channel. So main takeaways is that power back to the gamers is our main concern. Yeah, it's definitely going to be revolutionary. I've been hearing a lot of good reviews from everyone around here. Um, what about blockchain world in general? What do you think the main purpose of this event is? I think the main purpose of this event is to prove uh, just how many people are interested in this industry out here in the Middle East. And also, given the fact, you know, with all of the uh, tax havens out here, um, the idea of creating a blockchain free trade zone is, is just genius because a lot of these companies like Binance are already looking at the UAE to set up their headquarters. So pulling out of Singapore was a pretty big move for Binance's part. Um, and Abu Dhabi and, and the UAE in general has always been at the forefront of innovation. Um, and this is nothing short of innovation. So that's what we wanted to highlight here at Blockchain World. We wanted to promote Helicon as one of the main sponsors, of course, uh, uplifting the gaming community, but blockchain in general, just everyone from all over the world just aggregating here. And it's fantastic to see how excited people are. Yeah, for sure. We can definitely benefit from uh, more awareness being raised about the whole blockchain and NFT world. Sure. Uh, how would you say the whole blockchain and NFT technology is solving current issues in our lives? That's a great question. It depends who you ask, I would say. Um, I think blockchain can benefit every industry, uh, especially starting with gaming and from the platform that we're coming from and how I explained that gamers have the opportunity to earn and actually extract value out of games, which is something they couldn't do before. Um, but there's a lot more interesting things going on with NFTs these days. A lot more projects are attaching physical things and physical attributes to an NFT. So for example, you could buy an NFT of a car and you would actually receive the car itself. But the creator of that NFT gets to assign royalties. So they get to make per, uh, a percentage of every transaction going forward, um, no matter how many times the car gets sold. And that's why NFTs are so interesting in this day and age, I believe. So not only is it good for gamers, but it's also good for artists because they're going to be making money for years to come. Yeah. And also like anyone who's interested in trading and yeah, I was about to say the same thing, not just artists, but content creators in general. Um, are you already using NFTs in such fantastic ways? You know, influencers are using NFTs to promote themselves and create their own projects. Um, what I find interesting is the NFTs that have utilities behind them. So giving me early access to that influencer's uh, merchandise, for example, or some of their content that's out there. Yeah. Um, I find that really interesting because the more content that gets added onto the, that NFT, the more value it then has. For sure. As well. So with the rising, um, how would I say this? With the rising interest in NFTs and blockchain, there comes a lot of um, um, potential uh, bad side as well. What do you have to say to the people that are afraid to get into the whole thing uh, because they're afraid of losing money or like they just don't trust the technology? Yeah, well, it's a really fair question, actually. Um, we always encourage people in every part of this industry to do your own research. No matter how well you know the cryptocurrency that made you some money, no matter how well the NFT project you invested in did, that's not to say that the next one would. You need to do your own research and that's really important. But I understand why people have reservations. Um, I would never invest something that I'm not willing to lose. That's step one. Um, but doing my own research into the projects has been pivotal in helping me choose what NFT project do I want to get. I'm not just, you know, uh, aping into buying a cool piece of artwork anymore. I want to know what I can use that for. I want to know what utility it might have in the secondary market. So I think it's really interesting that in order to get involved with blockchain, given the fact that there's no middlemen and that's the whole purpose of it, you actually do need to learn and understand it yourself. And, and the ones who do take on that knowledge are the ones who are doing really well right now. True, true. So if you had like 40 seconds to convince people to actually uh, uh, come to the event or like in general be interested in blockchain, look it up, how can it actually benefit their lives? What would you say to them? I would say if you're not here already, you should be watching the live stream because we've got it going. We've got Jordan Belfort's on stage right now and he's giving a fantastic speech at the moment. 
We, as Helicon NFT, we are at the forefront of innovation when it comes to the next stage of gaming. Um, you know, the last gaming uh, model that we've, we're all used to at this point, it's not play to earn, it's microtransactions. It's free to play, but you have to pay a little bit here, a little bit there, and that, those costs add up and you don't get to take anything out of it. So understanding who we are, I think it's really important to come down here and hear what we're doing as, as Helicon NFT. You can meet the first gaming developers, Bad Fox Studios, who are joining us as partners. They're bringing their new game, Bionic Brawler onto our platform first, which is really exciting. And they're discussing it with people here today who are really excited about finding out more about the game. So uh, those who can't attend, I understand we're in a pandemic still, uh, so stay safe, but we do have live streams going on, so check us out. That's a great way of saying it. I wouldn't have said it better myself. So if you're interested in learning more about NFTs, check out Helicon NFT. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time.